men and women here. While meeting their clients in Gulu this afternoon, they are a commission internal audit and compliance. Protasio Bigumisa has ramped up the pressure on businesses that do not comply with the tax laws. He is encouraging complainant business owners to report their counterparts who are not paying their taxes. So if you know your neighbor is not paying taxes and you, you are paying and you don't want to report because you also fear being finished, then what happens? Then you carry the burden. The commissioner also addressed a room full of business owners on behalf of the URA Commissioner General Doris O'Call. He revealed that a few who are paying their taxes are carrying a heavy burden. He gave an example that about 70% of goods coming into the country do not pay tax. Of all goods that enter the country, that only 30% are due Only 30% of the goods that are imported in the country are paying taxes. The other 70% are not paying. So if you drill down, what that means is that the, 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 the businessmen and women who are paying taxes are few. And therefore, they are the ones shouldering the entire weight. A tax is a compulsory financial charge or some other type of levy imposed upon an individual or legal entity by a government organization in order to fund various public expenditures. And with the URA slogan of developing Uganda together, the commissioner cautioned secrecy when exposing tax defaulters in order to protect business owners who are key in the development of the country. But there are ways of reporting quietly so that you are not easily detected. They can suspect, but they may not know that you are the one. But despite this, some business owners like Anne Kipura, who pays taxes for trading license, bears the earned income tax, blames the low knowledge on feeling returns, harsh, corrupt, and unfriendly tax collectors for low compliance in the country. I faced challenges when I started, when I actually came out of my job to do business because I didn't know what to do, how to file returns. So I was like bogged down with penalties, you know, too much tax which had accumulated over time and, and penalties and all that. And I didn't know how to handle it, whom to actually help me through this. So it was a big challenge and a big blow in my business. Kipora calls for public accountability to build trust among potential taxpayers. Mm, the system is fair. For me, my concern is utilization of the taxes which are collected. For me, work of URA would be so easy if the tax can be used well and we, it, it, it's actually accounted to us, the taxpayers, how the money is used. Yeah. It makes everyone's work easy, URA, as we also feel good to pay taxes. George Olinga from Nair Roofings advises taxpayers to have one tax invoice. Make sure we submit all our returns to URA. Uh, members who are here, I want to protest you. Since from that day on, up today and up tomorrow, we are so much happy with URA. While Monica Alobo Lamone, who has been overseeing the growth of her infant school in a more district, appeals for a waiver for emerging businesses. We would prefer a waiver. Not paying at all will mean other areas will also be affected. So we would prefer a waiver for some time, then when we get back on our feet, then we can actually move on and pay the taxes. According to URA, compliance is not very bad as there is a slight increase, but the government is putting in place measures that these figures increase to over the current 1.5 million shillings. We have now slightly removed beyond 1.5 million Ugandans. So when you add up all those numbers, then you may not find that the problem is as bad as some people want to portray it. This report was compiled by Joseph Omagol for New Vision TV. Oh.